Oh wait, James, what are we doing anyway? Curry. Curry. Japanese curries. Japanese curry. Oh, Japanese curry is best curry. Doing some mukbang. I don't know, I'm kind of biased. <laughs> wait, 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 what's the best curry? Thai curry. <gasps> it's more flavorful, more That's spicy. Me. <sighs> I mean, Japanese curry is good in its way too. You know, all curry is good, but I like Thai curry the best. Wow. So. And Indian curry is second. We're, we're gonna have to have a debate in the comment section down below if you like Japanese curry better or Thai curry or another type of curry. Japanese curry, curry doesn't like mean curry. coconut. <laughs> you can make Japanese curry with coconut. I do it all the time. That ain't Japanese curry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that kind right. of puts it in the Thai realm, doesn't it? Yeah. Just because you use, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just you know what? coconut, yeah. We'll, we'll check back in after the curry's done. Virgil got put on timeout. Poor Virgil. Right. Japanese curry. Oh, hello my lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> James, Jason, and John here at my house today, at my table, and we made Japanese curry. Curry. A lot of it. This is pretty big. I'm excited. And I don't like my curry unless I got sriracha. I'm a purist. <laughs> Normally I am too, and I'm not gonna lie, I've missed curry in general. I'm, I'm not actually a purist. You know what I wish we had though? What? Some cheese. Oh. 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 Throw some grated cheese on this back. Yes. Now. What? You've yes. never had this? No. You've never had curry with curry cheese? With cheese? Uh -huh. What kind of cheese are we talking about? Parmesan or right there? Not Parmesan. Oh, like cheddar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is a lot. I'm excited. I hate hot food. Okay, cool. So it's pretty late tonight. What is it? Six thirty. Usually we're eating brunch. Early yeah, lunch. early lunches. Yeah. I have my pickleball that I'm gonna go to after I eat all this and maybe throw up. I don't know. And then I gotta. I'm supposed to drive back to um, meet my fiance for like her break, which is kind of huh. dinner. Told you that. You don't want to burn your gums. It's the worst thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. You know, I'm looking at this, and like, this is a lot of food. And at the same it's just time, a lot of rice. I'm super excited because this is like the mm -hmm. first like food food that we've eaten in a while. Because <laughs> what have we done so far? We've done snack foods. We've done there was the snacks, the desserts, the wontons, the, the cupcakes, uh, the fruit, man. the fruit. fruit. I'm trying to think. The only food food like real food that we've had, I think last was like the Costco. <laughs> mm. In and out. Our first one. In and out, yeah. Yeah. We have first two, full food, and then just as much snacks as we can handle. Mm. And I think that's why we decided to do curry today, right? I mean, isn't real food? Yeah, yeah it just counts as real food. Our uh, infamous boba that we were talking hey, about sweetie. for the last month. Okay. Mm. What should we do on the next one? Oh, yes. From the audience. Mm. We have a live studio audience here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a lot, but now after everything got mixed up, it's just a lot of rice. Mm. We need more topping. Want me to? We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna try your hot sauce thing because mm. I usually like these a little bit on the spicy side, so. Gives a different flavor. Oh. But yes, studio audience member. Hey. VIP. <laughs> what do you suggest that we should eat next time? Pie or something. Pie? Oh. oh. What kind of pie? One whole pie for each other? Yeah, like a big, uh, very blend of pie or something like that. Like, uh, ooh. Chicken pot pie or? Like oh, are we going like pie? Like or dessert or, or, pie or like food pie? I think I food pie is better. Food pie. Food pie should be fun. Where can you get food pie at though? Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, chicken chicken pot, pot pie. pie yeah. Oh, chicken pot pie. That's a huge chicken pot pie. We can't eat that. <laughs> One of each? That no, that I've never seen you that. would die. 
Mm. You would die. Would you? I don't know. No, but <laughs> calorie wise, that's a lot of calories that you're putting away. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. We had cupcakes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that was that was sugar. I wonder if that cupcake is the highest calorie thing that we've eaten. Mm. Was it? Mm -hmm. I see yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I'd say it maybe it was like 110 calories per cupcake or something like that. Yeah. How many mm. do we eat? I don't remember. 30 something? Yeah. In the 30s, definitely in the 30s. Yeah. Mm. This is good. I need more topping. <laughs> mm. You know what's crazy? I just found out today. Jason said his fiance doesn't like curry. I know. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. So, when we go to Japanese places, I'll be like, oh, curry sounds good. And she's like, uh, oh. you're gonna be the only one eating it. And I'm like, yeah, sure, fine. Oh. When you guys eat, do you use spoon and fork? Or what do you mainly use? Spoon. Growing up, I used a spoon. But after being with a cat and going to Thailand, I've become very accustomed to spoon and fork. Oh. No, yeah, I, I usually do spoon unless there's like, like katsu or something, like tonkatsu, chicken katsu. That's like my favorite thing with uh, curries. Before I would eat it with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> just, just giant straw. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit the carrots, right, it gets a little bit tough. You gotta. I, I don't know. Did, did did we come up with the story tonight? <clears throat> yeah, Jace. Did you come up with the story today? Uh oh. Did you come up with a story today? I always have a story. I am a man of many stories. I've got a lot of food related stories. There you go. Like, what's the, what's what the spiciest got? thing you've eaten? <laughs> uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, the very, very hot pack. Oh, here, here you go. So since we're talking about curry, and we were talking about Japan earlier, and how James thinks that the Japanese curry is inferior, which is not. There is a curry. It's oh, preference, it's not about <laughs> <laughs> there Well, is... we think your preference is wrong. Anyway. Yeah. Mm. It's okay, your preference can be wrong. Anyway. Um... Two to one here. She counts too. Oh, live studio audience, what do you say? You, you think Thai curry is better, or Indian curry, or which one you like better? Or Japanese curry. What's your curry ranking list? Oh, it's weird how two people can be wrong they live in the same household. <laughs> yeah, and how two people can be wrong too. They don't live in this household. <laughs> don't live in this household. <laughs> but, That's the great, about the great thing about this country, we can talk, compromise, okay? Mm -hmm. You like yours, I like mine. Yeah. I didn't say I don't like this, I do like this. But not like so strong. Yeah. It's a little bit too watery for me. It's not about that, I like more flavor, more mm. spices. I like it. It's good. Mm. It's still good. The flavor is good. Oh, but yes. Especially the sriracha. I know the carrots are actually perfect. Man. Mm. I think we need more topping, huh? Yeah, I think we need more curry. We're going to get some more curry, but. Um, I need some more. Now I'm right down there. The, um, yeah, when I, I was in Japan, my uh, first time visiting Japan, there is a place called Kokonoichi, or Curry House, uh, that we have in Hawaii as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Curry House was the very first time that I've ever had curry, and I started eating curry because of a manga called Addicted to Curry, ironically. The first time I had curry was in a restaurant. Yes. Uh, my first curry was home cooking. Same oh, here. I grew yeah. up with it. But. Continue. I did not. How about you, sweetie? How? Um, mom. Uh, so, Diana says her mom. You see, my mom cooked a lot of Chamorro style desserts, not so much Asian. Because she's so wild. <laughs> and after having yeah, that. Yeah, I'm about. Go, 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 go for his first while he's telling the story. And after I've had that. Oh, thank you. There is a. Kokonoichi in Japan. And in Hawaii, there's two different types of settings that you can have for your curry mild or spicy. And so I was like, I need to eat it spicy because that's how curry is supposed to be taken. Right, right. And which is, it's actually not really bad at all. Now, to flash forward to Japan, they said mild or spicy. And I said spicy. And then the waiter looks at me and goes, what level? And I'm like, <laughs> what? So apparently the Kokonoichi, now same, same restaurant brand granted from Hawaii and Japan, same restaurant brand, but in Japan, they have levels. There is level zero to level 10. I got level two. Now, level two being 
like very easy. Thank you. Uh, the higher the level you go, the more spicy it becomes. At level two, I could barely finish my nail. <laughs> like my eyes were all red. I was sweating. It was just, it was too spicy for me. And my sister who was like, yeah, this is, this is what I consider like perfect for me. I can only imagine what you're going through right now, John. Uh, in my family, I am the only one that was blessed without having spicy taste buds. Mom, Wait, dad. Uh, well, I, guess I don't know if that's a blessing. I would say it's a blessing because that means I actually get to taste the food instead of just have it. Wait, what was that? <laughs> and so right. I barely finished my level two curry. And it was ridiculously spicy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's really funny. The, the spiciest thing I've ever had was um, Actually, back in Hawaii, uh, there's Al Moana, which is the big, it was at one point the biggest outdoor mall in America. Is it not anymore? It's, I don't know. Oh, I think I think it's somewhere like 14th I saw last. Oh, dang, somebody you can got fact destroyed. Check. Well, somebody can fact check that for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there was a ramen shop near the uh, mall. What ended up happening uh. was, <laughs> um, I was sick that day and I went with my uh, family and of course, you know, the waiter or, you know, the person waiting on our table real, you know, noticed that I was sick and was like, you know what? Here, try this. So she went in, she went into the back, brought out this bowl of um, mabu tofu. Mm. Um, it was a seafood mabu tofu and it was delicious. The thing was she cranked the spice up to like thermonuclear and it was a ramen. Now that may not necessarily mean very much, but with like ramen versus the stuff you pour over rice. Mm -hmm. I found the ramen stuff was a little, I guess, stickier. Like, like the sauce itself stuck more to the noodles than it would have to the rice. So I was eating it and slurping it up. I'm sweating up a storm. I'm, I'm on the verge of crying. It was that bad. And I managed to maybe get through half the noodles and I was like, okay, let's see. What can I do to make this not hurt? I was like, okay, let's do it with rice. That made it worse. <laughs> it made it worse. And the only bright side that came out of that is I'm sure whatever illness I had, I probably sweated out. <laughs> um, that was level three. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. And, and the best part is it's a Japanese ramen place run by uh, a Korean family. Mm. And oh, Korean yeah. food can get quite spicy as well. So when they, when they said, yeah, go for the spicier one, I had a feeling I was in for a little bit of trouble. It was pretty fun. I'm not surprised that um, you know Japanese restaurants ran by Korean. <laughs> Most sushi restaurants are Korean. Well, <laughs> in California, yes. Most parts of the U.S., yes. Yeah, <laughs> in, in Hawaii. That's kind of cheating. You're very close to Japan. <laughs> we are very close to Japan. Uh, yeah, yeah, only two thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is actually pretty close compared mm -hmm. to relatively. Mm -hmm. Like blah, 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 California, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there, there was that, um, that was the only time I couldn't finish a meal due to spice. Mm -hmm. now, yeah. now, I'm wondering, now I'm wondering about James because, you know. There was a, um, someone who did make a comment saying that we should try the spicy noodle challenge. And I'll tell you right now, I will do it. I will sacrifice my mouth to try that. I won't be very successful. <laughs> Mark my words. I think it'll be but like I will try it. I will try a spicy noodle challenge. I I regret it. Do you want to try the Korean noodle? I don't know. There's like volcano noodles or yeah, something like that. that yeah, yeah. There are a lot of spicy lot, challenges. Just, or we can like, just grab your favorite noodle flavor and just dump a whole bunch of chili in. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you, you know? I, I'd be totally down for that. I, I can handle spice a lot better than I could durian, and you can probably handle durian a lot better than I can handle it. So it'll be a nice little uh, reversal of fate there. Oh yes, live studio audience member. <laughs> how how are your feelings on durian? She won't let me bring in. The oh, you don't like durian? No. She won't let me bring in. The oh, See, I I ate durian like a champ. Of course, I, I gagged a lot and almost <laughs> I cried, but... <laughs> and it looked like you were suffering, yeah. If, if, you yeah. Guys, if you guys go on the Greener Garden website, we what have a screenshot eat? in one of our blogs of <laughs> his face after having it. It was amazing. 
And that was only because they didn't have my reaction because I was all face down and crying after trying it. Speaking of spicy food, you know, I really like spicy food. And sometimes I, my mouth waters when I think about spicy food. Then, Pablo. then I overdo it and I'm like, oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> so one time I made ramen and I just poured in a whole bunch of chili. And I, oh, this looks so good. And I, eat, and I ate it. Oh, it burned so bad. That's the only time I couldn't eat anymore. <laughs> so, I really like chili, but sometimes it happens. So yeah, you know what? As, as, as weird as that sounds, I think me and James both have... Our stories, we couldn't quite finish the spicy thing, huh? Mm. So, you know what? You got us on that. You, you were able to finish the thing you considered spicy. I finished level two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is level two. <laughs> this is not level two. This will be like level zero. It, it said medium hot, but I feel like the, the spiciness on that is really not like super accurate. But mm -hmm. that being said, you know who has really spicy food? Uh, I found out not, like when I first started eating it a couple years ago, it was Indian food. Oh, I had no idea. They were they they have a lot of spice. That's actually where where the whole curry thing comes from. A lot mm -hmm. of curry spices are from that area, and the cool thing is. Curry itself isn't just like one specific spice. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a mixture, yeah. and the different um, amounts and concentrations in the mixture will dictate how the curry tastes. It also can do things like change the color. Yeah. So, I'd say this would be considered kind of a yellow curry yeah, by comparison. A um, brown. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, there was a place in um, Ocean Avenue. <laughs> you know what? San Francisco Ocean Avenue, where I used to sit and talk with you. Mm. We're both saying, it felt so right. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about this Oh, sadness. Ooh, what? You don't know that's no yellow card. Oh, wait. Man, dude. dude. We're going to uh, San Francisco soon, remember? Yeah. We'll go have some nice food. Mm. Kind of jolly. We might get level three. <laughs> I'm just Jason got joined the team too late to make that arrangement. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Well, you've been to San Francisco, though, right? Yeah, um, we actually went there uh, for um, mine and uh, my fiance's anniversary. Mm. Oh. Before I had, I had engaged, we went there. I think it was a big milestone anniversary. Oh, good deal. And Wait, so there was a big milestone. What might be my I think it was like where you walk a mile together holding a gigantic boulder to prove your devotion to each other. Not 500 miles? No, no, no. That, that's the 500 milestone anniversary. This is just the milestone anniversary. Ah. Uh -huh. Fun. Um, but yeah, we ended up going there. <laughs> we, we went there for um, the for anniversary, the... caught a Giants game, and I made the rookie mistake of um, like getting into the stadium, looking around just completely in awe, and they ditch, like, I ditched straight for the um, home team's dugout because it was a San Francisco Giants game, okay. and my family kind of grew up watching Giants baseball. So I was freaking out, it was my first time in a major league stadium. And before that, I had forgotten that Ash had given me her phone. Mm -hmm. So I tore, I tore off down towards the, um, towards the dugouts, trying to see if I could get a uh, signature for my, um, for my little sister, who's a huge Buster Posey fan. You lost her. I did. <laughs> but the thing is, it was really bad because I turned back to see if she was looking at me. And to me, it looked like she was, but she told me after that, after, you know, as she finished like punching me and <laughs> telling me to stay in line trying to get an autograph, um, she told me that um, I basically was there one moment and then gone the next. She could not find me. She freaked out oh, and called, no. uh, called her mom no. to call me by stealing one of the other, oh. or not stealing, but borrowing one of the um, stadium attendant's phones. And then she found me and then was freaking out and I had to make it up to her by uh, getting her the Ghirardelli's chocolate sundae. Ah, uh, just down the street? No, 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 in the stadium. Oh, I have I no idea the stadium. what that is. Yeah, the chocolate. And it was, a good, it was a good day after that. They won, which was all we could ask for. It was a good game, come from behind. Still one of my still more. best memories. There is still more. I know. If you want more. I would love more. Like yeah, this, this You guys understand how like, much we just ate. We had I mean, we, we three ate. huge cups of uh, scoops of rice. Yeah. And we had five scoops of curd. 
but it was delicious. You know, this is one of the few challenges that we've done where we, I, I don't feel suffering and bad. It was delicious. <laughs> like I could, I, I wouldn't be able to eat double what we ate, but yeah, I could probably eat that. one and a half yeah. of it. Mm. Like I could definitely do like another like mm. two scoops, mm, maybe one and a half scoops. Definitely another scoop easily. Mm. Speaking of the, the giant stadium, do you, do you recall when you were there? Where's that guy over the wall on his boat? No, we weren't on that side, unfortunately. Oh, no. But yeah, no, I, I know I've seen the guys on the boats. Yeah, they're always there. out there to try and wait for the ball. Or they're watching free game. It's but, amazing. By it's the way, it's so fun. When I was explaining earlier to you guys the early, true definition early, early, earlier, <laughs> earlier, 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 mm -hmm. the true definition of milestone. Um, yeah, what happened to a definition? Cat, Cat was looking at me, and I couldn't tell if that face was if she is stupefied by what I'm saying, or if she actually thinks that I think that that's what it means. <laughs> but you guys will be 50-50. Sure. I can't tell. Milestone. Well, how long you guys been together now? Five years? Yeah, about five years. Five years. So when was that? Um, I think our third year because that was before I moved out here. We would do this mm -hmm. thing where like, like you know, two years ago. Year, yeah, we would go back and forth. I go out to see her out here. She'd come back to Hawaii. The last mm -hmm. time that I was in San Francisco was in 2006. Oh my mm. God, it has changed so much. I don't know what you. Uh, I went there because I was on fall break. Oh, I lied to you guys. 2007. It was spring mm. break. Mm -hmm. My brother was living in San Francisco at the time, and I was at the military academy. Mm. During spring break, they kicked everyone off campus. You weren't allowed to stay on campus. Why? Um, I don't know. Because uh, I, I guess they didn't want to have anyone there to like cook and stuff like that. Makes sense. Um, Save money. So they kicked everyone off campus, off the uh, institute. And it was too expensive to fly back to Hawaii for just a week. Mm. So I went to go stay with my brother in San Francisco, which was like literally a thousand dollar difference in the ticket. Uh, but my brother was a late sleeper. I being at the military academy would be waking up at like five o'clock in the morning my brother would be sleeping until like two in the afternoon mm -hmm. uh he was a college student at the time that's and no excuse <laughs> <laughs> and so i'd be up at five just wondering what i'm supposed to do and so my brother got me a a, a scooter mm -hmm. so i just went up and down the streets of san francisco just exploring on top oh, of this cool. scooter i remember telling him that i went to the the wharf Mm -hmm. uh, for where he Pier lives 39? and he's like oh yeah that's just right down the street it's like five minutes away i was like what i was like it took me like an hour and a half he's like how did you get there and so the way he explained <laughs> this to me is that wait let me go how did you get there so you went all around this is san you? francisco's like a circle <laughs> right he, like his apartment is like maybe like right here in the middle and the wharf is like right here so i literally just had to go outside and go like right down the street or whatever and straight to it i went down this way and went all the way around like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then to get back, I went the way I came. So I went all the way back this way and went up that way. If you do get lost in San Francisco, just go one direction. You, you can walk across it. <laughs> yeah, it's just so, it was, it was hilarious. When he's just like, oh yeah, it's just right down the street. I was like, it took me like an hour and a half. What are you talking about? And then it was just like, oh yeah, okay. Wow. Hey, it was Tough great one. though. I loved it. it I, mean, I killed oh, yeah, time. The was great. Taurus. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, too, like seeing the hills, and I swear we went past the place where. Um, now, did the hills have eyes, or were they alive with the sound of music? <laughs> Can I say both? Both. Both is good. <laughs> but um, the yeah, eyes are alive with the sound of music. That's Jesus. really creepy. The eyes are the hills with the sound of music. Wait, <laughs> did they remake the movie? Which one? Sound of music? Uh, oh no, no, no. Mary Poppins is what you're thinking. Of. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, they probably will be make it because they remake everything. Probably. I mean, it's Disney. Was it Disney? Was it Disney? What was it? No, it's not Disney. Is it Disney? Oh god. Is Sound of music? Music? No, I don't Disney? think so. Oh, never mind. I don't think so. JK. Was Disney even making those type of movies back then? Well, they made Mary Poppins, right? It's not for the same people. I don't think so. Mary Poppins was made around the same time. Huh? Yeah, but okay, so it's just uh, okay, never mind. Audience, it's not helping. Jodan, Jodan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Poppins, I mean, no Mary Poppins. Is the sound of music made by Disney. I don't know, but I went to where they shot the sound of music in Austria. Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, nice. Uh, very uh, idyllic, I'm imagining. Oh, yeah, it's very pretty. So green and so. It's like, it's like Hawaii, but like Disney. Not like. Not like Southern California. 
Yeah. Or, or like, not like here anyways. Mm. San Diego's pretty green. Yeah, I can't. You can't. Yeah. So it looks like we finished. We did. This that was, was really good. This, this is a, like probably one of the this easiest. This is the easiest and, and most delicious. Enjoyable oh, yeah. one. Challenge. This is, which is that why means, we're going to hate ourselves. That means the months. next week we're not going to have an easy time. Are we going to do the gallon of boba? <laughs> yeah. We really do that. We've only been talking about it for like five weeks. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of pee. <laughs> a lot of tea? A lot of pee. Oh. <laughs> I drank a gallon of OJ before. Do you see that's they use tapioca for the boba? Mm hmm. Not peas. Yeah. The, the, the boba is tapioca. Never mind. <laughs> I'm confused. So, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. If you're here for our mukbangs, they come out on Thursday. Any last words of wisdom from our studio audience? Itadakimasu! Oh wait, we're late. Oh, <laughs> we're really late. Go to yeah. No, I'm talking about we didn't even do that. Oh. We words failed. of wisdom? We should've. We should've. Words of wisdom. Our stipulators? Chirp, chirp. <laughs> okay. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I I love that. I haven't had curry in so long. Yeah, that was too. delicious.